When we talk about motorcycle engines, our focus is usually on how much capacity the engine has and whether it is fast or not. But have we ever considered the type of cooling system? There are air cooling systems, water cooling systems, and oil coolers. Which one is better? In this video, we will discuss the three types of cooling systems used in motorcycle engines. Before diving into the types, it is important to understand that the cooling system is not meant to simply cool the engine. Although it is called a cooling system, its primary function is to maintain the engine temperature at its optimal working level. The ideal engine operating temperature is around 80 degrees Celsius, and the cooling system ensures that the temperature neither rises nor falls significantly below this level. Among the three types of cooling systems available, which one is best for continuous use? Let's start with the air-cooled type. One, air-cooled system. This is the simplest type compared to the other two because it does not require additional components. The concept of air cooling is to use airflow that passes through the engine while the motorcycle is in motion. This can also be called a natural cooling system because it relies solely on ambient air to prevent the engine from overheating. Air-cooled engines have distinct characteristics. If you observe closely, you will notice fins or metal plates on the cylinder block and cylinder head. These fins are not just for aesthetics, they serve a crucial function. The fins increase the surface area of the engine exposed to airflow, enhancing the cooling process. The greater the surface exposed, the faster the cooling rate. Thus, these fins help maximize the efficiency of the air cooling system. The advantages of an air-cooled system are its simplicity and lack of additional components, eliminating the need to check coolant levels. It also lowers engine production costs, making motorcycles with this system more affordable. However, the drawback is that cooling is highly dependent on airflow. If the motorcycle is stuck in traffic, the engine is more likely to overheat. Two. Water-cooled system In this system, the engine appears smooth and lacks air fins. As the name suggests, this cooling method uses water as a medium to dissipate engine heat. The cooling process involves water circulating through a casing inside the engine block. When the water heats up, it is transferred to the radiator, where it is cooled down by airflow. The cooled water is then recirculated back into the engine block for continuous cooling. This cooling system is considered more effective because water can circulate through the deepest parts of the engine. Whereas air cooling only affects the outer surface. Additionally, water-cooled systems are equipped with electric fans, ensuring cooling even in traffic conditions. However, among the three cooling systems discussed, this is the most complex. It requires additional components such as a radiator, a thermostat to regulate water circulation, and a more intricate engine block design with a water jacket. As a result, motorcycles with radiator cooling systems tend to be more expensive. 3. Oil-Cooled System An oil cooler functions by cooling the engine oil, which in turn helps regulate engine temperature. Since engine oil circulates within the engine, it can absorb heat, making it a viable cooling medium. This system is similar to a water-cooled radiator, but instead of coolant, it cools the engine oil. However, unlike water-cooled systems, the engine does not have a water jacket. Instead, its construction is more similar to an air-cooled engine, but with an added radiator to cool the oil. Which one is better? In my personal opinion, the water-cooled system is still the best option. Why not an oil cooler? Because most of the engine oil remains in the crankcase, the lower part of the engine, while the main heat source is the cylinder block and cylinder head. 
This means that oil cooling is less effective compared to a water jacket system, where coolant circulates directly through the block and head, absorbing heat more efficiently. Another factor is that different oils have varying properties, meaning cooling performance can fluctuate depending on the type of oil used. Water-based cooling is more consistent, as you can use either specialized radiator coolant or even regular tap water in emergencies, and it will still effectively cool the engine. For air-cooled systems, they are best suited for smaller engines, typically under 150 cubic centimeters. Modern automatic motorcycles with air cooling are often equipped with an additional fan, ensuring proper cooling even in traffic conditions. The fan activates automatically when the engine is running, preventing overheating even when the motorcycle is stationary. That concludes our explanation of the three types of cooling systems used in motorcycles. Hopefully, this information increases our understanding of engine cooling system.